everyone thanks for stopping in the garage and today's project is a real simple one um, this is uh, we're going to do a primer bulb replacement on this so this is still F I think it's FS 55 what is it yeah the FS 55 RL you may have one that's very similar to this this is an older model uh, I really like it it's it, it Mikey set me up with it oh, a few years back and uh, I have to say it's been very good to me um, I've I have a lot of these and I've had a lot of not this model but a lot of line trimmers you can see there's still a few left hanging up there um, I, I try not to do too many of them anymore it's just it's not worth it to me it takes a lot of time to fool with them once you kind of get into the still model I have to say it's probably one of the best damn line trimmers on the planet and as part in keeping with that sort of series of best and worst on the planet uh, I figured I would just sort of reintroduce this this machine now I, I don't know if I ever came out with a video on it I'm gonna put a few clips and maybe we'll talk a little bit about uh, what this thing was like when I got it you can see it now and you can see she is still beat up um, it was bent it was thrown out it was at the dump I think I gave Mikey 10 20 dollars for it or something it really was a machine that was abandoned uh, so really sad to see definitely abused you know used by probably a landscaper and for whatever reason they had enough with it there I took the carburetor apart I cleaned up the machine a little bit more and went over it and uh, replaced the, the diaphragm and the carburetor I maybe even replaced the primer bulb and this was definitely a few years ago so I've gotten a lot of use out of it and I have to say it really runs when it's running well it, it's very comfortable, it's well balanced, it's so reliable. Um, so I figured we would replace the primer bulb on this. We're going to use some uh, HIPAA parts, HIPA. And uh, so check out their stuff online. I will put a link down below for HIPAA's main website uh, where you could just put your model number in or whatever. And if they have it, you know, I would definitely use their parts. Also, you can find them on Amazon as well. So if you don't want to purchase directly, you can find their products on Amazon. So let's get started with this. Um, I am going to take it outside and we're going to give it a little cleaning with some super clean. Um, I think it's time. It's been probably a couple years. You can see the plastic was white and it's not, right? I don't think I'm going to be able to get that level of clean on it, but we're just going to give it a good quick cleaning because we do need to get into the carburetor and I don't want to knock any filth uh, from the outside into this carburetor because it was running fine. It's just that it broke the primer bulb. Very common problem. Uh, let's get started. Let's bring it out and clean it up. All right, I just scraped off some of the hung mung that was on there. Quick rinse first. I always like to make things a little bit wet. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to start off with just, you know, our standard, right? Good old reliable. A little bit of super clean on everything. Put a little bit of our foamy on. Like, I could pressure wash it, but why drag out the pressure washer? All right, we're not going to make it super mint. Just a service clean. Try and get all this mug here. All right, I got it up on the bench. So I figured what we'll do is maybe we'll pull the plug too, right? Let's just kind of give it a, a good once over. So it's you know, pretty, it's wet still in here, but. I'm gonna to want to take a look at this. I think this is just a foam piece I made. I should really get the correct air cleaner for it. It's gonna blow out in here a little bit. Hold your ears, low pressure air. There we go. Make sure that little ferrule's tight. Let's see, is it that the right one? Let's see what the plug looks like. Well, she's a little rich, huh? <clears throat> it might be a little fat with oil, too, so that needs to be cleaned. Or you can replace it. Which one am I using here? A BPM R7A NGK. It's a nice plug. Yeah, she looks a little bit nasty in there. So what we'll do is I'll take a little small amount of my, this is my tranny fluid and fuel mix. And tranny fluid is really good for 
kind of getting in there and cleaning, cleaning off the junk, carbon and shellac. We'll just let that sit whilst we work on everything else. All right. All right, so because this screw is a little hidden back here. Let's get that one off first. This screw does not want to come out. All right, we'll get it when we lift up. This thing's clean now. So I might throw a little clear coat on it. It helps to protect the, you know, the letters, the words, and uh, just the oxidation to the plastic. All right, we'll lift this guy up. Let me go in my uh, tote. Yeah, she's, she doesn't want to come out, does she? That screw is kind of like captured in there. I don't remember that being the case. There we got it. There's a little water in there, yeah. Now let's blow that so we don't get any more in. Because it got a hole in it. Low pressure air, like I said. Yeah, she's shot. There's the large size and the small size. Let me see which one this is. It really is only like two sizes. All right, I just wanted to show you that they come in a few different colors, flavors. This is a small one, and you can see the small one fits right inside the bigger one. And this is one where it's pink. Why there's some of them are pink, I don't know. Why some are clear, I don't know. The pink one, I got a pink pack here. Pack of, this is a HIPAA pack of five. It's a 530 string trimmer blower new. And they have a number here on, on this uh, bar symbol, but I've tried, I've tried putting that number in, and I think that's their internal number. I'll give it to you, though. It looks like it's an X000U3199J. Um, but that is a little different than this one is the HIPAA carburetor. This is the larger clear HIPAA carburetor 5616 brush cutter blower new. And that's an X000XDNR1T. So I don't know, you know, I, just that when you go in there, there's two different sizes and this is the larger size. And uh, we'll try this one. Um, I think the clear is probably better because you can see in there better. And I don't think there's any difference here. Um, I'm wondering if like the seat area is different. So what we'll do is we'll pop that in there. That seems like it fits well. And this one maybe has a bigger seat. Maybe a more, you know, pronounced seat. Yeah, that, that fit in there real nice. So. We'll try that one. And um, how do we get this screw back in? Right, this screw is going to be a little pesky. A little screwdriver or something to kind of work it in. Or maybe do this. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that thing. I don't know what that is. I don't want to take the whole carburetor off, you know. That seems silly. There we go. We getting it? Uh, we might be. Yep, I think so. It needs to go down a little bit more. Let's just use a hammer and we'll just bang it. There we go. I think I got it. All right, let me pop these on and I'll show you. I just cleaned the plug. And I gapped it a little different. It was a little wide. I brought it down to about 25, 28 instead of like 28, 30. So that's cleaner. And then I'll show you. I just want to hit a few spots with some a lubricant because we washed it. And uh, I think this mixture is a little rich, so rich with oil. So I'm going to lean it a little bit more just by putting a little bit of, you know, gas in there. Look, I do this all the time. I, I don't recommend that people do it because... If you, if you, you know, you should always go by the ratio on the can, on the bottle, rather, the little bottle of oil. Try and get this seat down right. And now let's find out if it works, too, because 
In this position, we can test it and it should pull fuel through. Just kind of go cross pattern until she starts to seat well. And just don't over tighten it, right? Because we don't want to break it. All right, that's good. Now let's see if it pulls fuel. You hear it? Yep. It's pulling fuel good. Really clean that out in there. Take a peek in here. This fuel's been in for a while. So, we don't really see much in there. We'll just put it just a, maybe I'll dump it and make, make it a bit more fresh. It's not a bad idea. If yours has been sitting a while, dump your fuel, get some fresh in there. You pop the plug in and then, now I could take it a little further than this, but I just want to spray a little lubricant in this area up in here in this clutch area. Not much, just a little. And... Um, usually I like to go in here and take this back off and deal with this guy, but she feels good. You know, I, it's not like I, I have done that already, so. Ashback. How nasty that is. Oh, I don't know if it's broken. It could be a broken spring. It looks like it might be. But of course we won't know anyway, because it's so damn filthy. So, let's just go boing, watch your face. Take the pack out. And now we can, we can clean this properly. All right, so let me go do that and I'll be back. But once you pull them, start to pull them a little bit tight. Once you get a few turns in, usually they start to stay. Uh, it's hard getting started because the spring fights you. And it's always better to work it on a table that's bigger without shit in the way. What I did was I lubed up, I cleaned off the spring well, and I ran it through some oil and wiped it. All right, we have to turn it around the other way. Even though that this hook was going in the right direction, or uh, was, well, it seemed like it was going in the right direction, it's not. All right, so actually this all has to come, there's a bend in the wrong direction. This all has to come this way. I don't know if I have it the right way. I don't know. A little bit of patience. A little drop of oil there, and I oil the spring. That's appropriate. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, clean up. My hands are disgusting. We'll put it back together. All right? End of flashback. We don't have to do anything here because I've already cleaned the screen, so that's part of a tune-up. Don't forget to clean your screen. If you're having issues with it running, but let's give it a test. There's a bit of water down there now. I don't know if that water came from me washing it or whatever, but you can see the color, right? It's it's beet. Now I use a darker oil. I don't use the greeny stuff, but it's still beet, right? So we can get rid of this. I'm gonna put this in my container for washing junk, right? That's why I save a lot of this stuff because when I want to clean up something, and you know I want a solvent, this doesn't even smell all that great. So we should have dumped this out before we started pushing the primer button, but we'll be all right. I blew out the, the uh, gas tank with some high pressure air. Here's one, this, I think this is for like the standard pool and crappy saw. So yeah, that should work, all right? Let's just cut the ears off. I like that. All right, let's start it up. All right, choke is on, fellas. They got the air filter on. Pull the throttle back. All right, let's see. I got fuel in it. It's a fresh mix, so let's see if it works. Nice, right? Still a little rich, right, with oil. I'll mix up some fresh, because uh, this is old. Um, it's fine, but you know, we want something fresh. Let's go test it out.
Well, it's making a mess for sure. All right, let me clean up this mess. I'm gonna dig the tractor out and it's time to cut the lawn in between the rain. Good time to do it, All right? We still got a lot more over here. You can see I haven't done it in a while because, well, the thing broke. I just sprayed a little bit of uh, engine enamel, clear enamel on this, gonna let it dry. So I'm gonna cut the lawn. And when I come back, it'll be it'll be fine. That's just to protect the plastic a little bit more since we got it clean. Not a bad thing to do. If you want, you can spray the aluminum and everything, but I don't see the point. We're gonna, on, and on that end, you could probably spray, spray the plastic down there, but we didn't get it super clean. Super clean, we got it super clean. Um, just, you know, over here, running really good, dump your fuel, guys. If it's been sitting a while and yours broke or whatever, dump your fuel, I'm glad I did that. We did a quickie tune up. If yours needs a little bit more service, you can take the muffler off or go inside the muffler and don't forget to check that screen. If it starts to give you a problem, you'll know. You'll have a hard time starting it. It shows her age just like me. Uh, so we're a match. Thanks uh, for stopping in. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Let's build the channel together and uh, let's keep moving forward. I'll see you guys later.